drive to right. Takes a three. Touchdown, 49ers. Hurry! All right, 49er fans. Hopefully the 49ers can fall out of the two position and get back. And if they do, you may hear the name Reuben Foster. For me, giving a fair unbiased eval of Crimson Tide inside backers isn't exactly a summer stroll on the beach. It's more like riding out a typhoon in the South Pacific, full of panic and torturous crushing pressure to make the right call. Is Reuben Foster more CJ Mosley, all business captain on the field, or is he more Rolando McLean? Total piece of shit. Well, only time will tell, but after his run-in with a male nurse at the Combine, I'm leaning more McLean. In fact, Foster dropped the dreaded do you know who I am and threatened to put his hands on the male nurse who came back even harder with a, yeah, do it. Why don't we rewind it back to 2012? Foster originally had committed to Bama, then switched to Auburn. And at his announcement as a senior in high school, he dressed his daughter up in a blue and orange cheerleading outfit. Sweet, right? Well, um... She looked like she was damn near ready for braces, maybe even a learner's permit. Uh, Daddy was a senior in high school, bro. And therein lies my quandary. Shoot, as far as his play goes, forget about it. It's freaking awesome. Foster showed he was absolutely committed in 2016, dropping down to about 220, flying around like a boss, led all FBS backers in run-stop percentage, and was tremendous in coverage to boot. Hey, you got a 34 inside backer, maybe even a 43 will. Explosive instinctive on the A-gap blitz, sideline to sideline athleticism, power, dude, the whole package. Often comped with Pat Willis and Ray Lewis. And that pretty much says it all. All right, 49er fans, make sure you tune in April 27th as we have our 49er first round draft show on KNBR 680, the sports leader.